some of the calls. We know that kids have been going through a lot during the COVID-19 pandemic. And that uncertainty with school and missing time with friends, oof, it can sure have an impact on their mental health. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And as the summer comes up, it appears, you know, we're kind of returning to this sense of normalcy. Still, though, it's important to check in with your kids. So here to help parents navigate some of these changes, Dr. Sarah Jersted, pediatric psychologist from Children's Minnesota. Dr. Jersted, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. We know these kids are seeing these changes, being back in school, maybe people around them not wearing masks in the same way that they were before. Uh, why is it especially important to keep on checking in with our kids? It's important for parents to check in with their kids right now because this has been a year full of change for kids. Um, they started with virtual learning, moving to hybrid, some going in person, and many switching back and forth multiple times, maybe seeing friends, maybe not being able to see friends. So it's been a year of a lot of unexpected change, and that can be really overwhelming for kids. Um, the anniversary of George Floyd's murder yesterday also is a reminder of what a difficult year it's been for black kids and kids of color. And with the recent shootings um, in the Twin Cities of kids, that's only served to increase their anxiety and stress. And so with all of that happening, it's no wonder that kids' mental health has been suffering a bit more. So the message for parents is to really let kids know they're not alone and that this is a great time to ask for help. Asking for help is always something that's appropriate. Um, and kids and parents should open up those lines of communication to let kids know they're there to listen and they're there to get help for them if they need it. How do you do it? How do you open that line of communication? It's a great question. I think parents need to be regularly having communication with kids about what their, how their school day was, how they're feeling. And one of the most important things parents should be doing is checking in with kids to see how they're feeling about the upcoming changes. Um, recently, the mask mandate um, changed, and this is a big deal, and kids might have feelings about that, maybe some anxiety about it. So parents should kind of sit down at the kitchen table with them, or maybe on um, bike rides or outside and just have those casual conversations to see how they're feeling. And how about the vaccine? Because that's another big change for kids who are 12 and up. Yes, um, parents should are really encouraged to schedule their eligible kids to get a vaccine and then to tell their kids why they're getting that vaccine and how that can help them. The other thing I would encourage parents to do is when they're taking their kids to that appointment, encourage their kids to ask that healthcare professional their questions and concerns about the vaccine because that can be really empowering for kids. And then of course, parents should be available um, to kids to answer the questions and concerns that they have. I think another thing that's important is when kids are fully vaccinated, and parents should of course be safe, but let their kids have a summer that's not focused on COVID-19. Let mm -hmm. them just play and meet the kids. Have some fun. Yep, mm -hmm. we all earned it. Dr. Sarah Jurst had great advice. Uh, pediatric psychologist from Children's Minnesota. We appreciate it. Thanks, doctor.